are you doing, lady? You know, this playing nursemaid, the earth queenie, is no sin. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. What's the matter, queenie? Did she get you all wet? You know, you're not barred. Grab yourself a hunk of towel. Oh, queenie, baby, you need a manicure. <laughs> got nothing on me. That's the first thing I'm gonna have if I ever get the dough. I'll get it. Maybe it's the studio calling. I hope. Hello. This is Miss Flynn speaking. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Say, what's the matter? What happened? Looks like the county farm for us. That was the studio, and they're not going to make the picture. Oh, that was our last hope. All the other studios are closed for three months. Well, I've got to bear down and finish my story. And I won't sell it to any studio unless they let us play the three leading parts. Okay, Eleanor Glenn, bear down. And in the meantime, how and what are we going to eat? If this panic keeps up, I'm going to start on Queenie. Over my dead body. Oof, I guess I better wash the dog off of me. You know, this story's all finished. But the finish? Oh, I've got a lot of thinking to do. Girls, here's a chance for a steady job. Chambermaid wanted. Apply Hotel Del Vista. Sixteen dollars per week with room and board. So it's come to that, has it? Well, at least it's something to eat and... Oh! Good morning, gentlemen. Well, I'm glad you think so, lady. But what about my milk bill? And my grocery bill. And a box of meat you've been eating for months. And these cleaning bills. Now, wait a minute. Don't get excited. You guys must be afraid you're not going to get your money the way you're acting. We are afraid, lady, and we ain't acting. Oh, just a moment, gentlemen. We've been a little short. But we're going to get work soon at the Perfection Studio. They're crazy about us over there. That has nothing to do with my milk. Or my meat. Or my grocery. Or my cleaning. Keep your shirts on. We're going to work. As a matter of fact, I expect a telephone call from the studio any minute. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you are, you bunch of wise guys. Pardon me. Hello? Yes, this is Miss Flynn. Oh, yes, Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen's the general manager of the Perfection Studio. Oh, yes, surely. What? Only $500 a week? Is that the best you can do? Oh, it is, huh? All right, we'll sign the contract, Mr. Allen. Yes, we'll be over in the morning. Goodbye. You see, I... Huh? <laughs> That's funny. I could have sworn I was talking to Mr. Allen. Oh, um... Well, one never knows, do they? You know, that may seem funny to you, but that's the guy next door. He's always borrowing our telephone. <laughs> you know, it's getting to the point where... It's hey, yeah, well, what about, about my, my milk bill? Now, let's just fill it out, Abe. Just a moment. Now, I don't want to be able to buy you a little Here's a letter for you, Miss Brooks. It's probably from home. <laughs> probably is. Feels like there's money in it. Oh, I don't think so. Well, suppose you open it and see. Hmm? Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll get our dough after all. You'll get yours probably after I get mine. Well, go ahead and open it. What are you waiting for? <clears throat> Not bad for an old lady at that. 
Well, well, where's my money? Here's a half a dollar on account. Oh, you girls make me sick. You look good, too. Anyway, we saved the typewriter. Now I can finish my story. Good morning. Now, about those chambermaid jobs. We can work there until the studios reopen. And then we can tell all our friends we've been in Europe. What are you going to do with Queenie? You run down and telephone the cat and dog hospital and tell them to come and get her while we fix the bag. Okay, come on, Virginia, let's get busy. How's that? Looks okay. Come in. Good morning. I'm from the Imperial Cat and Dog Sanitarium. Oh, yes, I want you to take care of Quinny for a while. Now, be sure and let me know how she is. I'll be at the Hotel Del Vista. Yes, ma'am. Goodbye. Goodbye, Queenie. We all set? All set. Come on, let's get out of here. I didn't know you had members of the royalty stopping here. Don't worry, we haven't. Well, I bet you're going to have. Here's a message for her. Virginia Brooks, Hotel Del Vista. And get this. Queen is ill, but no cause for alarm. Signed, Imperial Sanitarium. Yes, but who's Virginia Brooks? Probably the Queen's daughter. The princess is usually traveling cognito. Say, there's a princess coming here. Huh? Yeah, she's traveling incognito under the name of Virginia Brooks. How do you know? Well, a telegraph operator just told me. And here's a message about her mother. It says the queen is ill. Say, I just ran the paper with the queen of Mulgrovia is ill. Good morning, boss. Anything exciting? I'll say there is. Here's some news for your paper. We're expecting the princess of Maronia. I gotta get the dope on that. Quick, have the royal suite prepared. They'll probably be fatigued after their long journey. Yes, sir. Front. Gee, I hope we get those jobs. Oh, it's thin. I phoned the head chambermaid and gave her our name. I wonder where's the employees and... I don't know. Say, how do you get through these bricks? Step through here if you like. Can I help you? Thanks. There you are. Thanks, Kelly. You're welcome. Hey, what's the idea? I'll let them go. Do they know what they're doing? Thank you. What does he want our pictures for? Maybe they take pictures of all the chambermaids. Well, it's a cinch, it's no beauty contest. Oh, what's the please. floor? Don't let us throw you, brother. How do you do? Uh, I'm Virginia Brooks. At your service, madame. We've been expecting you. anything, madame. I sincerely trust you will take advantage of our smart shops. They would be honored with your patronage. And remember, your credit is good. You may... Ah, oh, yes, sir. A telegram for you. All still, please. Thank you. Say, what is this? I don't know, but they sure treat the help well. They can cut out the fireworks as far as I'm concerned. Oh, poor Queenie is ill. But it isn't anything to worry about. The 
with the compliments of the management. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I wonder if they think we're three other guys. Oh, but aren't they gorgeous? Business is sure good. Good morning. I wonder if I could get a picture of Her Highness. A picture of her what? Her Highness? Her Highness, uh, I mean Miss Brooks, is indisposed at present. But if you'll return later, I will try and arrange for her to receive you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Come here, kids. Do you get it now? Queen is ill, but no cause for alarm. Signed, Imperial Sanitarium. I think I do. Listen, this hotel's gonna be full of movie producers next week during the convention. And any one of them would be tickled to death to sign up a princess. What's that got to do with us? Look, they think Virginia's a princess. Oh, I'll bet they think Queen is Virginia's mother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at any rate, I'm going to try. Imagine Bennett here saying he'd like to sign up that swell-looking princess for his company. <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah, try to get a princess to work in pictures. Just the same. I'm going to make her a proposition. Don't waste your time. <laughs> He's got a lot of nerve if he puts it over. Imagine Please, a princess. Yeah. Could you cut out that racket? We're trying to think. i got to complete my story. I've got to finish now. I can see it just as clearly. We don't have to look very clearly to see our finish. Those producers haven't made us a single offer. So tomorrow they'll be on the way to New York. Yeah, and we'll be on our way to jail. Say, did you get the hotel bill? I'll say, and it looks like a war debt. How do you do? I'm John Bennett of the Hollywood Pictures Corporation. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Bennett? Won't you come in? Will you be seated? Thank you. I was wondering if the princess, uh, uh, that is, if Miss Brooks couldn't be persuaded to appear in one of my pictures. Why, uh, Now, of course, I realize that that is rather unusual, but I thought the novelty of working might appeal. That would be a novelty. <laughs> Just what is your proposition, Mr. Bennett? Well, considering that financial compensation is of no consequence to Miss Brooks, we can ignore that part. But the work should prove a most interesting experience to her. In other words, you want her to work for nothing. Well, uh, not exactly. If you'll pardon me for a moment, I'll transmit your offer to you. Certainly. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Tell him if you'll pay our hotel bill, we'll take it. Oh, don't be a sap. But he needs his competition. Someone offer more money. I know just the guy. Who is he? You don't know him, but he's okay. All right, get him. Tell him he's from Germany. Hurry up. How do I look? You look all right. Now get it right. You're supposed to be a big producer from Germany. Keep raising his bid till Rita gives you the signal to stop. Sure. Leave it to me. Okay. Calling Mr. Hammond. W. Hammond. I never saw such a performance in my life. Hey, did that picture do any business? Did we do any business? We did 180 grand last week at the Roxy Theater without any extra billing. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Black. How do you do? How's the moving picture business in Germany? Oh, fine. We're going to make lots of pictures this year. What are you doing here in Hollywood? Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I shall discover some new talent. Huh? I get it. How do you do? How do you do? I'm that princess. I wouldn't be surprised. I think I'll tip off the boss. That's a good idea. Uh, you see, Mr. Bennett, Miss Brooks has an offer from Germany, and they've asked her not to do anything until we see their representative. Come in. My name is Block. I represent the Berlin Film Corporation. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Block? Now, Mr. Block, just how much are you willing to pay Miss Brooks to appear in a picture? Well, now, let me see. I should say, uh, for 5000 a week? I'll raise that to 7000 well, I'll raise it to 10000 You said 8000 huh? 
No, ma'am, I said 10,000. All right, I'll pay 12,000. Well, I'll pay 15,000. <laughs> What's the matter? It's my money. I've been to the home. Ah, Mrs. Watson. Yes, sir? When I inspected Highness's rooms this morning, I found a little dust in one of the corners. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, we're so short of help. And only last week, I hired three timbermaids over the phone. But they haven't shown up. Give me their names. I'll phone them. Indeed, I will. Jean Farron, Rita Flynn, and Virginia Brooks. Who? Virginia Brooks? Why, yes, she's one of the chambermaids I hired over the phone. What? How do you do? How do you do? Are you the manager? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm looking for three young ladies by the name of Jean Farron, Rita Flynn, and Virginia Brooks. You see, they left my house owing me for three months back room rent. Listen to this. Listen to this. Virginia Brooks, Hotel Del Vista. Queen just became the mother of three fine puppies. Mother and children doing well. Signed Imperial Sanitarium. Oh, uh, can you imagine that? Her mother's a... Queen is a dog. Why, certainly, a bulldog with a face like a walrus. <gasps> Call the florist. Call the modiste. Yes, sir. Call the hairdresser. Yes, sir. Call the police. Oh, yes, sir. Give me the face. What about my money? Your money? What about my money? I don't care anything about yours. You're a big, strong man, and I'm a poor, weak widow. Don't bother me. I want my money, I tell you. I can make it 20000 but not a cent more. I'll bid 25000 <coughs> We'll accept your offer, Mr. Bennett. Have you the contact with you? Why, I think so. There. Just a moment. I'm from Germany, and I'll bid $150,000. Well, you win. That lets me out. Me too. Good day. Uh, good day, gentlemen. Did we fix it? Yeah, you fixed it all right. Good. There they are. Arrest them all. They're a bunch of crooks. They impersonated princesses. You can't arrest us. We didn't do anything wrong. Well, you've got $984 worth of bills here. Can you pay them? And what about the three months room rent you owe me? Can you pay in? Oh, we'll pay it if, if you'll just give us time. Mm -hmm. You'll get time, all right. About six months. Where's my story? Oh, I don't know. I guess Bennett's got it. I saw him writing on it. I'll have to get it. In six months, I can figure out a finish. Stop that girl. Say, this is my idea of a great story. The finish is left entirely to the imagination of the audience. Find that girl and try to buy it. Yes, sir. Miss Farron, wait a minute. Come here, I want to see you. Congratulations. Say, that's a great story you've got. Mr. Bennett wants to buy it. He really does? Sure. Gee, that's marvelous. Come on. Uh, now, wait a minute. Where's not our fault a few months and Sister Virginia was a princess. We didn't tell you that. That doesn't pay these bills. You all go to jail. Hey, how much is our bill? $984. Well, here's a check for a thousand. And give me a $16 change. Where'd you get it? I sold my story. Oh, oh, look at this. Here's your change, lady. Oh, I'll take that on account. You remember me. Oh. <laughs> 